Amen. The gentleman sitting in the middle is Mr. Hart, who was the head teacher at Chase And this is Mr. Vincent, who was a student just like you are. I remember lots of interesting things about the school and some of them are too naughty to mention. And we used to play Kiss Chase. <gasps> very naughty, very naughty. Morning chefs. How do you do? This looks amazing. Children created their own uh, menus and then they actually worked in groups to see what you need all out on the table. You made this, did you? Um, I, I was in the group. You were in the group? Yes. Yeah. And this is like chickpea with um, a hot spicy sauce. Who made this? It was Nashara. Nashara. Well, it was it, uh, yeah. Nashara. This is brilliant. Thank you. There's the tomatoes. We've got some cucumbers, some rocket, olives, and we had some olive oil and salt in as well to just, oh. to just bring the flavour out, you know. To bring the flavour out. Can I just say, I think Finley's a star. Obviously, well, I've got some memories of this hall, which is no longer the dining hall. But what do you remember from it? Well, this hall was used uh, mainly for um, PE uh, during the daytime and uh, at lunchtime it was used for school meals. And the meals were brought in each day in a lorry. They couldn't have been very nutritious. Mm. And uh, quite honestly, a lot of the kids didn't like them. I didn't have the fortitude of the kids to eat the school meal every day. <laughs> Hello, good morning. What are you going to show us? Um, the chickens! Oh, we didn't have chickens in my day, wow! Do they have names as well? Cheeky one and cheeky two. Cheeky one and cheeky two! We let them out to play. You let them out to play? Okay, they let loose, they let loose. They are no longer cooped up, although he is a bit henpecked. Oh, it's an egg! Should we try and get it? Wow, look at that. Now, what comes first, the chicken or the egg? The egg, very good, excellent, fantastic. <laughs> Through here is the secret garden. It's not finished yet. It's not finished yet, it's work in progress, whip. As you said, based on Victorian garden. So are you going to have different um, vegetables in each bed? Yeah. yeah. There'll be like that much of carrots, right. that much of yeah. Yeah. Summer fruits and vegetables, winter fruits and vegetables, spring fruits and vegetables. Spring spring fruits and vegetables. vegetables. <laughs> So this dining room is, is new and the kitchen is also new. And there's a, a school cook here called Penny who was also very involved in uh, building and obviously now operating the kitchen. For them to have fresh food now is a major step forward. They try and cook what children want. Right. Like. Does anyone know what this is? It's a type of cucumber. Yeah. Exactly. It's more like a vegetable version yeah. of a cucumber, yeah? like a vegetable cucumber. <laughs> We've retreated to Sally Corpson's office. Tell us a story of what happened with the kitchen. When I arrived, the programme for a new dining hall and kitchen being built had stalled, I guess is probably yeah. the best way of saying it. And so we were able to actually work with the local authority to get that going again. Roger was a big part of it. We concentrated very much on the dining room because we wanted to create a an atmosphere yeah. that children will enjoy their food in. And, and we've worked very hard to, to use uh, smaller tables, to use full-size uh, chairs yeah. and to engage the children, to make them want to sit and socially interact at a table. Penny and her team have focused very much on welcoming the children, right. having them be as enthusiastic about food as they are. You can right. see Penny's yes, enthusiasm, yes. it just oozes <laughs> yeah, yeah. yes, from her. Yeah. Sally from day one made me feel like the family and that made me feel, that, made, that gave me the confidence I needed to think I'm in a brand new kitchen. It's like I've won the lottery. Aww. It's amazing. Well, it is your kitchen. It is my kitchen. It is. <laughs> We're a team. This is what I love about this school. We're a team. The key to having a successful school meal service is having commitment and interest from the head teacher. And if you don't have that, it's hardly worth bothering, really. Yeah. I want our children to leave us fully able and capable at knowing what types of meals they're able to produce themselves as the starting blocks but also to have the tools to know 
I can grow this and mm. I can use it. And if I have to be, I can be self-sufficient. Mm. My ideal would be to be a completely self-sufficient school. Fantastic. That would be my ideal. Oh, that would be amazing. Today has been brilliant. I mean, we've seen a school that's recently um, transformed its school dinners. I think as we try and unpick this million dollar question about what drives change, I think you know, what we saw today was the product of uh, passion and leadership and that's what has delivered excellence.